Hello and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Harley and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Harley's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while we're working with the dogs, and also the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Harley has been fitted with his own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one session. Now Harley is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side and that's where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Harley take off now and the command that you're going to give is Harley heal and you're going to simply start walking and you'll notice that Harley has been trained to walk very nicely on your left hand side at your pace whether you're walking at a faster pace or a slower pace he should not be lagging behind on that leash nor lunging ahead and pulling. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the healing exercise which you just saw occur so anytime that you're out and about and walking with Harley and you stop you'll notice that he sits nicely right there at your left heel position and he's to remain seated in that position until given another command and you will so that see those automatic sits frequently throughout the video here. Now the next command that they're going to demonstrate is the stay command and it's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left palm in front of his muzzle and the one word command to stay and then out to the end of your leash. Harley should remain seated in this position throughout the entire command and should not break. This is a great command to practice frequently throughout your day to help build up his ability to sit and stay for longer periods of time. Start with short time increments of 30 seconds to a minute and upon his success increases intervals working up to a total of 3 minutes. When Fred returns back you notice that he walks all the way around and behind in a counterclockwise motion returning so that Harley is once again in heel position on his left hand side. Harley receives some praise and they're going to go ahead and demonstrate the heel sit and stay again for you. Now Fred gives him a moment to hold his sit stay for some practice and then they're going to go ahead and demonstrate the recall or the come on command. The command you give is Harley come. He's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you and then he returns to heel position healing around the right side of you, the back of you, getting to your left hand side sitting nicely waiting for his next command and they'll demonstrate that again. It's very important when he comes in that he sits. It's to promote the appropriate behavior of sitting and the inappropriate behavior of jumping up. And good job. We use lots of positive reinforcement here at school for the dogs make it fun and motivating while working them through, or, through their commands. You can use verbal praise and tell them good job or physical praise and give them a little pet on the top of the head or underneath the chin there. Now the next command that they're going to demonstrate is the first of our down commands. Down from a heel position. Again use the open flat of your left palm straight down towards the ground in the one word command to down and then give that stay command and out to the end of the leash. And of course he should remain laying down throughout the entire command and practice this command frequently as well. To, now he broke his down command so Fred said no. He went back to heel position, represented the down command. It's important to follow through and be consistent. He must follow through with the command from beginning to end. So practice this frequently to help put up the ability to downstay for longer periods of time. And again start with short timer increments and increase your intervals working up to a total of five minutes for your downstay. And Fred went ahead and returned back, same way, all the way around and behind. Back to heel position. And I'll demonstrate that again. It is important to also remember to set aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work Harley through his commands in a formal obedience training session. You can even put the video on and follow along. 
It's great practice for the both of you and will help with the transition of his new commands and rules back into the household. So Fred left him in another down stay and this time instead of returning back to heel position they'll demonstrate the come command from the down position this time. Gets up and comes in, sits nicely, very nicely done. Finishes by walking around back to heel position, sitting nicely. Good boy, Harley. You're also going to want to make sure you're practicing your commands both indoors as well as outdoors to help generalize them in both environments. And at first you're going to want to pick an area with little to no distraction when Harley comes home. And then you will slowly in introduce distractions into your training sessions to help build up his ability to focus once you start feeling more confident and he's adjusted to being back home. So Fred leaves him in a sit stay, walks out to the end of the leash and they're going to deck demonstrate the second down command, the down from a distance. So the sit stay out to the end of the leash and use your right hand to drop Harley into a down command. And he should go into the down command directly where he's sitting. Nicely done. Back around. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Harley has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Harley. He's been so much fun to have at school and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. And we ask that you also keep us posted on his progress on his return home.